Hey, what's the way with y'all chat? We back with another tutorial, you feel me? This is gonna be a short one. So basically I've been at, I've been getting like a lot of comments in my live streams and, and TikTok comments and YouTube comments about how to apply a chase cam and how to install a chase cam and how to apply it or how to download it, whatever you want, right? So basically I got y'all with a short tutorial right here. Um I just came out like I just dropped my two custom cams one is a race cam one is a drift cam which is like a drift cam is basically smoother and more loose a race cam is more tight and wobbly you get what i'm saying like when you when you press gas or brake it goes with it you get what i'm saying drift less but it's also like configs of different cameras called dynacam and kirby cam besides that i'm gonna need y'all to get the newest csp because you need csp to change your chase cam and obviously to customize it as well i'm gonna show y'all you get csp from the link in the description so go check it out you feel me and uh you can get these for free in my discord they're available in my discord i'm also have a link in my description y'all go see a showcase of it too in this video so yeah let's get it started i bet so first off chat i'll need to go to y'all fire explorer and uh, instantly go to the directory where your Assetto Corsa is installed. You get what I'm saying? For me, it's pretty easy, right? Like, I, I know it, like, off the top of my head. But if you don't know it, just go to your Assetto Corsa on Steam. Right-click Assetto Corsa right here. And go to Manage. Go to Browse Local Files. And then you can find your game directory. I'm going to close Steam again because you don't need that. And then you're here. This is basically how you install all your mods manually. A lot of people don't know this. They instantly just drag something onto Content Manager, but with a lot of things, such as um, pure CSP, you can't do that. I think, well, actually for CSP, you can, but okay, besides the point. So now that you're here, um, usually a mod will have the directory already like in it, but I forgot to do that. So I'm going to grab this real quick, chat. I'm going to show y'all that when you grab the folder of my drift cam, You'll have to click on it and then you see camera.lua and manifest and you're thinking like where the fuck do i install this right i got you right here okay so first off you want to go to extension go to lua and chaser camera and pal you have the chaser cameras right here the arcade mode arcade mode 2 base drone and maybe some other ones if you already installed them but in this case i already have the guap cam drift installed just make sure you drag that shit in there if you don't have if you can't open it like this make sure you get seven sip or WinRAR. also available in the description i got y'all but yeah now that that's out the way make sure it's already in there you didn't put it in nowhere else or inside another folder if it's in there like this it's perfect it's good to go now we want to go to content manager one sec drag it here go to your settings then you want to go to custom shaders patch and then go to chase camera and you'll probably see a script that says like extension one is active script is probably nothing or maybe arcade or i don't know and you just want to change that to guap cam drift i currently have my guap cam race also installed so i have both on first camera's drift second camera's race you can do that if you want because there's two third persons and now i know a lot of people don't know how to customize this because Obviously, you think if you go to Assetto Corsa and then Chase Camera, you think this is probably the best way to customize it, right? But this is not what it actually looks like in-game. That's one thing a lot of people seem to mistake. That is not what it looks like. I'm going to tell you all right now how to actually change it in-game. I need you all to go to Settings, Assetto Corsa, and go to System, and then click Developer Apps. Put that on. Check it. Make sure it's, make sure it's checked make sure because you need that now i just need you to load into a game it could be single player i'm gonna load into single player real quick just to show y'all any map it doesn't matter all right but now let your game load it up matter of fact don't like don't mind that it's windowed i don't play on windowed it's just because i'm streaming i'm recording on my second monitor Anyways, now that you load it in, whoops, let me fix my wheel. Going to third person, you'll obviously see that it looks like probably fucked up and the uh, the second camera as well. Um, I'm gonna need y'all to look up chase camera right here in the in the task hotbar, whatever it's called. Chase camera that should be available right there. 
I just drag it to the side so you can actually see what you're doing. I have my settings always on like pitch in between 22 and 24, 26 for big bodies, height 28, distance 27. This looks the best on stream for me, in my opinion. But if I'm not streaming, I do put it closer just to get more of a feel of the car. If you get what I'm saying, like I can put it 24, height, distance, about like 21, 26, 24, right? Because it just looks better, in my opinion. Let me just put it back. So yeah, basically, like you can just mess around with it. I know my boy Dragalot got some custom, like chase camera settings that a lot of people fuck with. Um, also one thing I forgot to say, I forgot to mention is that the chase camera that I made y'all installed, that I installed in this video, also comes with a 75 FOV, but that is customizable if you go into the into the settings. If you want higher FOV, if you want lower FOV, it's all up to you. And you basically just do that by going to the same directory that I just told y'all. You know what I'm saying? Go to the same directory. Set of course to right. And you go to extension. Lua. Chase a camera. Then just click on this one. Bow. And click on camera. Double click. And it should open up a code. And you can change your FOV right here. Oh, it's on 70. My fault. Not 75. You can change it to 75, 80, 90, 120. It doesn't matter, chat. So, yeah. That's pretty much the tutorial. You feel me? I appreciate y'all for watching. Tune in, make sure y'all subscribe, like the video, you feel me? Share it to y'all homies if you don't know how to, like, if y'all don't know how to change your camera. And if you want to feel more immersed, you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, also make sure to join the community, the Discord community in the, in the link in bio. And check out my Patreon. I appreciate y'all for watching and see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.